Boom, boom. All right, guys. Let's see who we're looking at today. Oh, yeah. We're looking at the man Brian. Now, this guy was just an absolute monster for one reason online. Even, even just offline, too. Like, this was the most unseeable thing ever. And I'm sure you guys have had plenty of encounters on it, just in general. And that is the infamous Snake Edge. I, I just want someone to understand that this is just as equivalent as Law's um, Snake Edge in Tekken 7 online. People would say three bar. People say three bar long Tekken Seven. People would say three bar Brian was a monster to deal with. And on top of in Tekken Seven, these you got to do like this. You know, not that hard. And then you go. Um, oops. As a wall carry, right? But here it's even simpler. You go here, here. And now they're at the wall. Like that that's just a little combo I would do. So Brian had undoubtedly the best mix-up in the game, hands down, especially online. This accompanied with this. It's like what do you do? You know? And it's not that hard to do a combo like that or something on top of his ridiculous counter hit game still so it was still hard to hit him you know and I know I can do more damage if I put like up up four three and all that but just this right here I I don't know how many times I saw Brian and just thought like I lost because right here <laughs> it's so ridiculously unseeable that it's like what do you do honestly what do you do in that sense you know um, I think Um, let me see if he still had stuff like No, let's see if he has stuff like let's see, I talked about that. Oh, I know he has this boom still Still has that so you can do this here Something ridiculous like that or just you know bitch slap him boom his, 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 you wanted to go and hit him before he hit you just because of how good his mix-up game was, but it was so scary because of all that kind of stuff. Like, he'd be backing up and then just out of nowhere, catch you with a mid-game, and there you go, you're, you're done, you know? Brian was just an absolute monster online for these reasons, you know? And he still has his, like, his mix-up game and all that. Boom. Still has this. He's just very hard to hit online due to this one move right here. Like, I can't stress how good this move was. Even offline, this, that's ridiculously fast. If you look at that, that is way too fast. I think... If I'm not mistaken, that's 24 frames. If I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. Because I know in Tekken 7, it's 28. Right? Or 20. It's between 27, 28, or 29. Don't quote me. I haven't played in a while. Or 31. No, because I think Lily's is 31, right? Yeah, but don't quote me. I, I, I haven't played in a while. So. Usually I'd have it memorized, but it's been a while since I've played Tekken 7. And I've been revisiting Tekken 6 like nothing because, wow, is this game just awesome. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about with Brian. Just if you see Brian online, just know it's pretty much game over. And if it's a Brian matchup, at least you know you got a Brian matchup. Because even I would say he is even better than Bob online, just for this, just for the sheer fact that you. It's it's just look how fast that is. That's like um who? Oh man, what's the Butler's name? Oh my God, Lily's Butler. Oh man, TJ, why are you forgetting stuff? But that's like his butler, or her butler, that's like his snake edge in Tekken Tag 2. Look how fast that is! The fact that you can combo off of it is ridiculous. Ugh, but... Yeah. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace.